Welcome to another edition of It's a Hawaii Thing. Today I'm going to take you to some of the best bakeries in the state of Hawaii. People always ask, why do we have so many amazing bakeries? Well, we got to thank the Portuguese for that. They migrated to Hawaii in the late 1870s and came to cut sugar cane, work in the sugar plantations, and they introduced us to bread, flour, wheat, oil, and voila, we got some of the best bakeries in the world. Our first stop is here in Wailua on the North Shore where the locals call this bakery Palakai Bakery, but it's actually Paalaakai Bakery. Let's go check out some of their snow puffies. All right, I told you guys these snow puffies are one of my favorites. Look at that. Talk about ono. Light, flaky, creamy on the inside, snow powder on the top. You gotta check them out. We're talking everything sweets here in Hawaii. Our next stop, Ube. These guys do an incredible cheesecake tart started by Adrian and Jeremy, a married couple that have been doing it since 2014. Let's go check them out. And this is what gave them their fame, ladies and gentlemen, the Ube Cheesecake Tart. Everyone gets this confused with a purple yam or an Okinawan sweet potato, but Ube is a Filipino yam. Came over from the Philippines and now is a huge part of Hawaii and one of the most ono things you're ever gonna eat. Smooth, light, and look at that color. Next stop, Kamehameha Bakery, right here in Kalihi. These guys started in 1978. They're almost 50 years old. They make one of the best poi donuts. We're talking bakeries today, and of course, you gotta do the next stop, Zippy's, Napoleon's Bakery, who is a part of Zippy's, and Zippy's celebrating over 55 years old, makes these unreal, look at these. Apple Napples. We got to thank Jan Tsukazaki who invented this in 1983. She was one of the managers and bakers here at Napoleon. Light, flaky, and a touch of that apple filling with some glaze on the top. I just want to let you guys know it'd be unfair to categorize these bakeries in any particular order. They're all my favorite bakeries, all right? And you can't talk about a bakery unless you mention Liliha Bakery. With now five locations, the original one started in Kalihi in 1950 as a little bread shop. Now, they make the amazing Cocoa Puff. Oh no. Diamond Head Bakery, founded in 1921, has become a household name in Hawaii, making cookies from the locals' favorite ingredients like taro, guava, lilikoi, also crackers, and my favorite, the royal cream cracker. I mentioned earlier that the Portuguese were very responsible for bringing us bread, flour, oil, started some of the big bakeries. Of course, the immigration to Hawaii was huge because of the sugar plantation. Japanese started their bakeries, and of course, the Filipinos had some amazing pastries and bakeries. We're gonna stop at Nanding's Bakery, famous for their Spanish bread and their ensamada. Let's go check them out. Nanding's, as I mentioned, famous for their Spanish rolls, but they also got the ube filled Spanish roll. Nanding Paez is the baker who started this over 30 years ago. Light, salty, and sweet. One of the best desserts you can try in Hawaii. All right, our next stop here is Diamond Head Grill. Yes, there's no bakery in the title, but hidden inside Diamond Head Grill, they have an amazing bakery. They do cakes. They're famous for their pumpkin crunch. They do all kinds of cool stuff, but this is the number one seller right here. This is a scone, probably the best in the world. This scone is a blueberry cheesecake scone, and it's hard to tell you unless you try it, but it's really light. It's not dense like most scones are. Very soft, moist is probably the best word to use, so you have to try one while you're here at Diamond Head Grill inside of the store at Diamond Head Bakery. When you see the pink bag, you know you're at Leonard's Malasadas right here on Kapohulu Avenue in Honolulu. This is 
one of the iconic donuts. Started in 1952 by Leonard Rago and his wife Margaret. This is my favorite. They got the malasadas, powdered sugar, and cream halpia on the inside. It's their number one seller. You have to get it hot. It's the only way to do it. Maybe we have so many great bakeries because we had such big sugar plantations. The world's largest, in fact. Next time you come to Hawaii, make sure you visit Leonard's Malasadas and all of our amazing bakeries.